second trick on Brisbane, or was it just a training run, Robert Dippy at Domenico? Thanks, Rex. I think it was a train run for Melbourne, and uh, if you're Robert Walsh, you'd be thinking to yourself, you know, how can I get this side to play well here in Melbourne? And they've played 157 games here in Melbourne and only won eight of them, and that is very disappointing news for the Bears. Uh, for me, out of the middle, they've got no uh, effort to uh, put the ball up uh, and give Lynch a, a chance to, uh, to kick a goal or merit to kick a goal. They just uh, bomb the ball up for them and give them absolutely no chance whatsoever. And uh, from the half-back line through the middle and to the centre-half forward line of uh, Melbourne, they were in complete control. Robert, the uh, Melbourne medium-sized players. Now, that's one of the most... Phoebe's 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 one of the, Matthew Phoebe's. Must be one of the most improved players in the competition. I certainly are. I mean, uh, between the two Phoebe boys, they had 75 possessions. And uh, Swartz uh, taking some magnificent marks to send half forward. But you've got Lovett and Ops Lovett, and all these Ops. guys. They're good players. Very good players. Todd Viney and Lambert had a bit of a go at each other. And uh, at the end, school... You know, is a very important part for this Melbourne side. Matty? Dipper, the Bears had trouble manning up midfield and there was Melbourne players running rampant, picking up possessions. And I mean, it was, as you say, it was a training run, but what can the Bears do to, 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 to change that in the midfield? Well, Matty, you're from Brisbane. I mean, I'm sure these guys train together, they play together. I mean, they know exactly how to play football, but they show no sort of football knowledge together on the football field. And one thing Melbourne have got, Rex, is the four S's, Bobby. Yes. Speed, strength, Stamina and the most important thing, skill. Skill, skill. and uh, Neil Bum's a terrific arm. Skill. Now, Bertie. Yes, Bob. What is the reason why a team is it the titsy fly bites them at Albury or something? Get sleeping to <laughs> the titsy fly. <laughs> the titsy fly. Yeah. That's right. I get their lucky. Sydney had exactly the same thing. Exactly well, the same thing yesterday. I think I think the Bears have passed. <laughs> the titsy fly. I think the Bears have passed the word <laughs> of uh, attitude, or they can't play here in Melbourne. I mean, uh, only last week they had a magnificent win up, the, up right. in Brisbane. You know, I have no idea. Uh, and maybe Matty can help us here. I mean, the well, training... If I, if I knew the answer, I'd tell Walsey. Now, should they stay at home? Should they say a three-quarter time, time. Like, a, like a cricket team at three-quarter time, shake hands and say, listen, what? it's all over here. I go three oh, votes to can't Matthew. Do this. <laughs> now they're hang on a minute. I go three votes uh, to Matthew Phoebe. No, or, you go uh, two actually, 2.5. And 2.5, the guys can actually fight with, uh, between themselves. But this is fantastic. These two boys from Devonport have made a name for themselves in AFL football, the elite class of football, and it's terrific to see the young boys. And also um, David Neitz, who plays centre-half back, played a terrific game.